to part two in this uh, build series. Um, I've hit a wall. Uh, as I mentioned, I was trying to get it into the Mac Pro case uh, with some modifications after finally removing that shelf that I pointed out last time. Uh, it cost me the locking mechanism, so I'm going to have to figure out a new way to put the door on. But that might be a moot point anyway. Um, as you can see here, these are some of the 100 million screws I had to remove. There is the sandwich shelf that was the hard drive caddy carrier and the um, power supply holder. Here is some more of the millions of screws I've had to remove in order to get this far. Uh, but here is the issue. Um, the I.O. shield here, or the, the I.O. in and out port, is clearly too big for the case. It is encroaching on our first PCIe slot. And then our PCIe lane here does not line up with this here. Well, it doesn't line up with the second one here. Um, so if I was to cut this and make it accessible to the audio ports on here, I would have to remove this entire piece, which would leave it quite wide open. Uh, and after putting it up with the appropriate standoffs, as I had here with my little prototype, uh, I thought it would be lower. But it actually interferes with the fan here. It actually sits up about... It doesn't fit. Uh, so I can either line it up as is, get this first PCIe lane in line with this one, and that is the lowest I can go, because I have a triple slot card, uh, and then I would have my, uh, my RAID card in the top there, but that would not be accessible from the outside. There is a USB-C port on it. I'd have to uh, forgo having access to that. Um, so yeah, a little... A little bit disappointing. I don't really know what to do, um, whether to abandon attempting in, in this case or to carry on ahead and see what I can figure out. Uh, the fan, the exhaust fan I've already got, uh, will not go in there. It's a 120 millimeter, and if I if I do raise it up to its appropriate place, it's not going to fit there. So I may have to reduce the size of that, but it might not have anywhere to mount to because I'm going to have to cut so much of that away. So. Bit of a disappointing one this time round. Uh, I will update you if I have any more ideas, but for now I seem to be a little bit stumped. So I'll uh, I'll check back next week hopefully with a answer to what I'm going to do. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Um, this is past J, my past J, his future. Uh, anyway, after closing out that video, I did go back and have another go at trying to rip out that bottom bracket in the case. Um, it did free up some more space so the motherboard will now fit in that case however there is the issue with um, I have to close the gap between the IO shield on the motherboard and the IO opening on the case obviously it was designed for a um, custom Apple board not for ATX so I need to figure out how I can do that I might, I've gotten a few ideas how I can cut the IO and then bend the case in a little bit and sort of make those um, ridges make it just a bit more flush. Um, so there's some more ideas. So the project is going to go ahead a little bit more positive this time. I just, I was burned out after spending so long in that case, trying to get those um, trays out and then basically just destroying uh, the whole locking mechanism I wanted to keep. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead with it. So the project is still going. I uh, just need to figure out a few more bits and pieces, but a little more positive. I just thought I'd keep you up to date. Um, yeah, and I'd like to apologise as well for the quality in these videos and the editing. I am uh, filming and editing this on my phone at the moment. Obviously my PC is in pieces, but uh, hopefully once I get around to the actual build, I'm going to shoot that on my camera and then we'll edit it after the fact on the machine so that you can see it. But I'll try and keep you sort of updated with these kind of vlog things anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's the TLDR is still going ahead with the project, going to modify the case, still going to try and put a PC inside of a Mac. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.